we continue on the track with the uh, women's 10,000 meter final and 13 laps remaining as Hitomi Naya of Japan leads Tarunish Dababa and there is Shalane Flanagan who led for some of the early laps now has dropped back into about ninth place by my count. Pace has picked up slightly they're now running under 31 minute pace and showing a little bit of strain on the face of Shalane Flanagan going through a rough patch perhaps in this race but she's still got people to look up ahead to and the people at the front are not pulling away at this point. We'll be back with the 10,000 meters in just a moment. To go and Naya of Japan leads to Runish Dibaba of Ethiopia then Algira of Ethiopia, Chepiego of Kenya, Chibet of Kenya, Chirono of Kenya and Ashet of Bahrain and Shalane Flanagan just there crossing the finish line there she is dropping steadily back. Tom, this is definitive unless the pace drops considerably, which it's not going to do with less than 10 laps to go. Uh, Shalane is off the back here, and it's now going to be down to uh, East Africans against a Japanese woman who's done all the leading since she took over from Shalane Flanagan. She's kept the pace going. She's upped it just a little. They're now at about 30 minute and 55 second pace. That's not accounting, of course, for the fast finish, which is going to be inevitable in this race. And now you have to start thinking about the experience of the different runners, their, their fast finishes, where they've exhibited that. And, of course, again, no one matches Dababa for that. And that shower that hit a while ago has uh, abated, but it's probably welcome. Uh, it dropped the temperature pretty dramatically, 11 degrees. Uh, now down to 70 degrees here on the track in Moscow. We talk about Dababa and the history of this event in long distance running for women. Her cousin is Durartu Tutulu, the two-time Olympic and one-time world champion in this event. Her older sister was a runner, and her younger sister, Ginzebi, is here running the 1500 meters. She qualified earlier today for the 1500 semifinals. Naya leading Dababa, Ojira, and Chepiego. So you see a Japanese runner, then two Ethiopians and three Kenyans. A little bit of controversy surrounding the Ethiopian team and Dababa this season as we see her in second place there. She wanted to run both the 10,000 meters and the 5,000 meters. She's the world record holder at 5,000 meters. And I mentioned earlier she has the fastest time in the year in that event this, uh, this year. And you know, she said, I want to double. I want to win that 10,000 and come back and compete against my compatriot, Meseret Defar, in the 5,000 meters. And uh, Defar herself wanted to double. She had her all-time best in this event earlier this season. And Ethiopian officials said, nope, we're going to keep you separate. Dababa, you go for the win in the 10. Defar will go for the win in the 5. So as they continue, we uh, think back to earlier in the evening.